individuals. Let us take the number A125 on page 57. Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today's liturgy tells us how precious we are in the eyes of God. And we have nothing to fear when we trust in God. As we participate in this Eucharist, let us ask our Heavenly Father to give us the grace to uphold the value that we have before God. And my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess I to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us all. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, As we lift up our prayers and petitions, we offer this Mass for the soul of Brito R. Fernandez. Let us pray that the Heavenly Father may grant him eternal bliss. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determine to carry out good works. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brethren, in Christ we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of him, who works all things according to the counsel of his will, so that we who were the first to hope in Christ might be to the praise of his glory. In him you also 
when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, was sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee of our inheritance, until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, bless the people the Lord has chosen as, as his heritage. Bless, bless the, the people, people the Lord, the Lord has, has chosen of his heritage. heritage. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for the upright. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a tenth string lute, sing him songs. Response. Bless, bless the, the people, people to the, the Lord, Lord has chosen, has chosen as his heritage. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and his merciful love fills the earth. Response. Bless, Bless the, the people, people the Lord, the Lord has chosen, chosen as his heritage. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his heritage. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of men. Respond. Bless, Bless the, the people, people the Lord, Lord has chosen as his heritage. Acclamation, kindly. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time when so many thousands of the people had gathered together that they were trampling one another, Jesus began to say to his disciples first, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that, have nothing more that they can do. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who after he has killed has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? And not one of them is forgotten before God. Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, you are of more value than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> My dear friends, uh, the Gospel that we have just heard uh, it seems like Jesus is contradicting himself. Initially, he says to his disciples and to for us also, fear no one, especially those who can cause you bodily harm. But Jesus says, fear the one who can cast you into hell. Fear God. 
And then at the end of the gospel, we have heard Jesus saying to us, Do not be afraid, fear not. We are worth more than many sparrows. Now, how to make sense of this progression? Initially, Jesus wants us to fear God. And then suddenly Jesus speaks about God's tenderness and love. Certainly, our God is the one who doesn't want to condemn us. We don't have a condemning God. That's not the type of God He is. And Jesus Himself has said, I have come down here not to condemn, but to save. Now when Jesus says these things, He tries to warn us of the cons consequences our actions can have that can lead us to lose the gift of eternal life. And losing the gift of eternal life is more worse than losing the gift of natural life. Now, the question is, in these circumstances, shall we fear God? If we understand well why Jesus came into this world and what he achieved for us through his death and resurrection, surely we will say we don't need to fear God. We are all sinners and due to our weakness we fall into sin and perhaps at times we might be like hypocrites, like the Pharisees and the scribes. But we have to realize that through Jesus the Father has given us the gift of salvation. And when we acknowledge that we are sinful, and when we call out to God and ask for His forgiveness, surely God will flood us with His mercy. That is how much God loves us. God is ready to forgive any sin that we commit, provided we acknowledge that we are sinful and we run to God seeking His forgiveness. As human beings, we are bound to fall. But we need to acknowledge our sinful nature and run to God for forgiveness. And surely God's mercy we will experience. Jesus gives two striking examples to show us how precious we are in the eyes of God. He gives us two striking images. Jesus says, the father notices that five sparrows are sold for two pennies. If the father, the heavenly father can notice just sparrows being sold for two pennies, how much will he not notice us? Not only notice us, he knows us intimately. He knows us true and true to such an extent that he knows the number of hairs that we have on our head. And when we have certain doubts with regard to God's mercy and God's love, we need to recall to our mind these striking images of God, of, uh, that Jesus keeps before us to show how precious we are before God. God doesn't want us to be, con uh, to, be uh, to fall into sin and to be condemned. He wants each one of us to be saved. God loves us to that extent. He will go to any extreme to see that we, uh, we achieve heaven. We are precious in the eyes of God. And uh, so much so we are so precious in the eyes of God that we don't need to fear God. We need to love Him. We need to who seek what he wants us to do and do his will in our lives. As we participate in this Eucharist, let us acknowledge our worth before our Heavenly Father and let us always strive to do what pleases our Heavenly Father. Let us pray 
for this grace in this Eucharistic celebration. Offertory, let us take hymn number B27 on page 73. Sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and all the glory of Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up uh, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, bread and, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of us, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, God take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For communion, please take hymn number DD36 on page 115. Since we cannot receive Jesus, at this moment sacramentally, let us make an act of spiritual communion and experience the presence of Jesus who is in us, who dwells in our hearts, who abides in us. My Jesus, I believe 
that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Kindly rise. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us shadows of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, hearts are on fire, that night is so wondrous, fills all our desire, Awe, Awe, Awe Maria, Awe. We pray.